Let me read a bit from Justin Lee Collins' new book, which is called Good Times. Yes, indeed. Did you write it all, Justin? No, not one single solitary word. Good. I'll tell, I'll tell you what I did do. Yes. I, I, I told my story to my best friend, Boyd. Yes. And, um, yeah, so what, we had about 12 sessions, and I sat... He's genuinely one of my best friends in the world. I sat with him... And I, I told him about myself. He knew a lot of the stories anyway, so he knew where to prompt me. And then he wrote up my words. So they are my words. It's my voice. I just didn't literally sit down with a pen and write them down. Because I, I once did do an interview with Alan Hansen, who got a book out, and asked him what was on page 71. <laughs> and he put, he put uh, the he phone did, down. Ah, uh, well, see, I'll tell you what, the funny thing, though, because, I, I, you know, there are ghost writers and uh, lots of people write books and they, they don't write them themselves. Someone comes in, they write down the words for them. But I, I would imagine that would be really tough if you do that with someone you've never met before. Mm. You know, if, if you're assigned, someone's assigned to you, like you're introduced to someone, hello, Justin, this is John. Uh, you've never met John before, but John is going to write your life story. That, that I would imagine, is quite difficult and quite weird. Um, but I was very lucky because uh, one of my best friends happens to be a journalist and a writer. Um, so it was a very easy thing for me to do. I'm reading from your book now. It says here on page 115, this, yeah. this was one of my big dreams to be on the radio, and suddenly this presenter who I'd been listening to for ages, who hey, was... Barrett. King of local talk radio, well, yes. I, don't, I beg to differ, uh, was, asking, was asking me to go on his show as a proper yeah. guest, a comedy guest. So I said, that would be amazing, I'd love that, Dave. Is that how it all started? Yeah, pretty much. That's 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 all I ever wanted to do, really, Paul. Was was uh, was be on the radio, and still my dream is to is to give it all, give it up in about two years' time, yeah, and just go back to doing like a late night local radio show. That's all I really wanted to do. That's all I ever wanted to do, really. It's good fun on the radio. We have, we have a laugh every morning. We just mess about a bit and have the news. That's it, really. That's well, it's that. Uh, well, I mean, obviously, it's it's nowhere near as as easy as you make it sound. There's a lot more involved than that, and uh, you know, not everybody can do it, but. It's that uh, intimacy that I like and that immediacy. That's great. You don't get that in any other forum at all. You certainly don't get that in television. Radio, if it's if it's a live broadcast, and obviously still most of the time uh, it is, you open your mouth, the words come out, and people hear them. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful thing. Can I just introduce you, Justin, to Justin? He's our Hi, travel. Justin. He's our travel. Hello. Yeah. Hello, mate. How you doing? I'm fine. You're a legend, mate. Absolute legend. Thank you, sir. Sorry, Thank I shouldn't be much. starstruck, but I am. I'm sorry. Oh, what a lovely thing. Justin, my Justin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Justin. Yeah. That's all right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, Justin. Bye-bye, mate. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Justin yes. meets Justin on the That's Peter of Breakfast Show. Uh, where'd you get your lovely hair from, Justin? Because it, it's, it's full of body, isn't it? And it looks like it's added body in the last few months, your lovely hair. Oh, really? Well, probably because it's, it's shorter. Um, yeah, I've had a little bit of a chop. I went for a choppy bob. So I, went to see Sean. I went to see Sean at Maximum Effects, and, uh, yes. and he decided, he deemed, uh, that we needed a little bit of a change, because Sean is the maestro. No one else has touched my hair since the age of 11. Will you be getting uh, it free now you've mentioned him on the radio, do you think? Is that why you did that? Well, it's about time. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Uh, but, you know, I don't go in that often because it's, it's long, so I don't yeah. go in, you know, every sort of four weeks or, four, or six weeks or whatever. Do you catch um, it in things, Justin? Do you catch your hair in anything? It's a bit long, isn't it? Yeah, it happens quite a lot. Never in a brush, though. I never brush. I never, ever brush. And I never blow dry. I just uh, I drip dry. I wash it. I always use a separate conditioner. Yes. And, um, and then I just uh, use a towel, and then I leave it. I leave it. Because Ben, my producer, came in this morning, didn't even bother to comb his. He's got to straighten his with an iron because it's a bit fluffy. And he, he's <laughs> ah, I just wanted yeah. to know, any any tips, really, Justin? You've got amazing hair. Amazing. Oh, thank you, Paul. Oh. Thank you so much. Any, any um, products sick that you use? all this, isn't it? Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I, you know, don't go for the product, you know, wax or, or uh, gels. And I tell you, the worst is hairspray. Leave it alone. I mean, I don't know many men who still hairspray. Do you, Paul? No, the, uh, the, well, the, the ones that do tend to wear chinos. He's stammering <laughs> because he does. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you know I do. It of hairspray in here. No, that's just the women from the night before. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, don't hair. That stuff is bad for you guys. Leave it alone. Yeah, don't drink it. 
Top, top. No, certainly don't drink it. <laughs> just, Justin, <laughs> Justin, yes, can I love. just warn you, my darling? You are coming to see me. I, I, I do apologise. I am going to kidnap you and keep you in my office forever. Oh, but that sounds lovely. I know you'll enjoy it. Oh, um, I will enjoy it. I'm you, up for this. Ah, very good. Forward to it. Um, uh, I'm very glad. There are people already queuing. Yeah. No, come off it. Yeah, they started queuing at eight o'clock this morning. It's interesting. I did tell that. them to go away, mm. but That's they said true. no. We're staying. We have to oh. see Justin. We're starting a pie chart, by the way, Justin, because we came down to see Ainsley Harriet and had our yeah. picture taken. Rick Stein was there last week. Was he? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and you're here today, so we're going to come down and see you. We're starting a pie chart on how many people are going to be in the queue. Poor old Ainsley. It was a bit of a cold day. <laughs> yeah. Just five. Oh. Um, and uh, Rick Stein... You'll yeah. beat Ainsley, don't worry, Justin. About a hundred, <laughs> about a hundred, I think. I Justin. say Ainsley wasn't that bad, but carry no. on. <laughs> There's about a hundred for Rick Stein, Ains uh, Justin. So uh, you got to go some. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking to top one hundred. Yes, please. Well, I'm going to make a pledge and a guarantee. Yeah. I'm going to hug every single person I meet today. <gasps> I'm there. Oh. Uh, yeah. They're uh, getting it. The full whack. The full hug. <laughs> Everybody's going to be there because Justin Every Hooks single... are legendary. <laughs> <laughs> they are legendary. Have you got Archie with you? I love oh, Archie. My baby boy. No, because he's just started school. <gasps> he, we sent him to school last week. I How feel bad you about do it. That? I know children have got to go to school. He's only four. He's too young, isn't he? Surely he's too young. He's far too young, but he's far too gorgeous. He doesn't need to go to school anyway. He's more intelligent than the rest of us all put together. Oh, oh, oh well, thank you. What a lovely thing to he say. He's so lovely. Oh, he's my little I've got boy. a special request as well, Justin. Yes. You know, you, you did that Bring Back series, Bring Back Star Wars, which is brilliant, yeah. and all that sort of stuff. Bring Back the A-Team. Yes. Can you bring back Adam and the Ants? Oh, do you know what? I... We, we started off, because the, the show Bring Back that we did, it, they made it in America first. Yeah. It was the, like a sister company to the one that, that made the program here. And they did it for VH1 in the States, and it was called Bands Reunited. And the first Bring Back we were ever supposed to do was Spandau Ballet. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, I've had Tony but, Hadley in my is that Is that true, <laughs> Justin? <laughs> Sorry, sir, what was that? Is that true? Yeah, that's true. And oh, this was so about true. five years ago, and of course now they've reunited, and they, I think they've just announced they're going to tour, or they're going to release a new album. That's on right, it. yeah. yeah. Um, and we looked into it at the time, and the powers that be realised that if Spandau Ballet were ever going to reunite, they were going to do it on their own terms, probably for pots and pots of money, not just because some overweight Bristolian was asking them <laughs> to. So, <laughs> It never happened. So someone at Channel 4 had the bright idea to, to go and do uh, Grange Hill. And that was the first one we ever did. But about a year ago, I was at a TV studio uh, waiting to do something. And I met Tony Hadley for the first time. Yeah. And Tony Hadley came up to me and said, I've got to say, Nate, because he's a big guy. I've ever met him. He's about seven foot he tall. And he's a bit, he's put on a bit, hasn't he? Yeah, oh yeah, he's a big lad. <laughs> I didn't tell him that, though. And he, said, he came up to me and he said, do you know what, I've got to say, I absolutely love that Bring Back Grange Hill. And I said, Tony, you'll never guess, it was supposed to be Bring Back Spandau Ballet. Yeah. And he said, get off, you're kidding. We've got to go, we're out of time, it's nearly nine o'clock, Justin. What time is he at Waterstones, Anna? He's at Waterstones at half past twelve. Half past I'll 12. see you when you get here, my darling. <laughs> see me for a cuddle, I love you.